Get ready to experience an emotional roller coaster as we prepared a set of the most heartwarming acts of kindness sure to make even the toughest jocks cry. Get some tissues handy and let's get started. You, you matter, all right? There's always gonna be somebody that cares about you and you're a good person. No matter what people say, you matter. Ignore them, they're losers. The ding dong ditching you. I'm just trying to say that you matter, man. Or girl, whoever you are, you matter to someone. Keep that in mind, don't forget that. Asriel Robinson was bullied at his previous school, so his classmates wanted to give him a warm welcome. We, we got you some stuff. Oh, because why? Because of like how generous you are in everything you do. What? Are you... No. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Because of what? Because of how nice he is and how good of a person he is. And how you always helping people, right? <laughs> you should do something. Wow. This is from your classroom. Oh, this is nothing as all the stuff you've done for everyone in this class. You deserve way more than this. Johnny's family wanted to help him achieve his dream of completing an Ironman race, so they did something extraordinary. Cerebral palsy may control his movement, but certainly not his will to keep going. Dropping your ice cream on live TV could be kind of embarrassing, but sometimes it could go your way. This guy tucked $40 into this homeless man's bag for groceries, but had no idea that the homeless man would soon show his own generosity in a surprising turn of events. I've been trying this whole day. Like, I know my daughter is sick and she needs her medicine. Look, I'm literally down, I'm down to my last dollar now. I've been buying her medicine every single week. I have no more money. Over here, scraping for every dollar that I can get, but I mean, it's hard. I'm trying. Bro, I don't mean to be What's wrong with her, man? My daughter's sick right now. I don't have any more money to feed her and buy her the medicine she needs. It's hard, man. What's he doing? What's he doing? He took all his bags. Too. Are you sure you want to do this? I'm positive, man. That's amazing, man. You just took all your stuff and you went to go return it. Do you have any more money yourself? Are you? I'm you? good, man. I'm good, man. For real. I'm good. Wow. Just take care of what you say. You drink care of. Wow. That's amazing. Do you have a home right now? Or? Uh, right now, kind of. Place to place. But it doesn't matter about me. It matters that you get that medicine for your daughter. With a heartfelt intention, this guy set out to make this woman's Christmas a little bit better. You need some uh, food? I got some food, some water. Oh, thank you. You okay? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, God bless you. No, don't cry. Do you smoke weed? Yes. Yeah. Yeah? I got you, you ma'am. There you go. Cool, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Right. Here, and I'll give you 40 more bucks. Oh my God. God bless you. <laughs> you wanna give me a hug? Yes. Give me a hug. Merry Christmas to you. I love you. Oh, love you too. <laughs> this donut shop success isn't simply due to how good their donuts are. I like these as well. The people of the neighborhood wanted to buy as many donuts as possible, allowing the shop owner to be with his wife during her recovery from a brain aneurysm. This little boy didn't know how much his card would mean to his mother. Are you crying? I made this for you, Mama. And there's a heart for you. Mama, you crying? Mama, why crying? Mommy. Can I give you a rose by any chance? A what? A rose. Why? There's a little card on there for you. Why is it for me? Why not? I don't know. I can give it to my wife. Yeah, but most men don't receive the first flowers until the funeral. All right. And bless you, okay? Thank you. Amidst the heartbreaking sight of a German shepherd tangled in barbed wire, his cry for help was immediately heard thanks to this guy. 
Music conductor Gil Shaham had no idea his orchestra had a whole different interpretation to the song they were meant to be rehearsing. Quadriplegic student Noble Haskell, a cross-country athlete who broke his neck in a 2021 car accident, overcame odds and walked to receive his diploma, resolute in his determination to run again. Hi, you guys ready? Do you decide it? I'm sorry, what? Lemonade? This man realized that there was a language barrier, so he decided to help out in more ways than one. Our waitress brings that water. Here's your water. Uh, okay, can we order in uh, English, please? This is in Mexico. And as soon as she makes that demand, this customer jumps in to act as a translator. <laughs> you don't have to get involved. This is my job. Uh, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, we'll go have a hard time ordering. Well, yeah, I just don't know what they're saying. I mean, they just need to speak in English. He stays calm and respectful as he tries to get his point across. If I don't speak Spanish, what should I do? Well, I'm trying to help you and help them at the same time. Okay. okay. Yeah. So they get it in a hamburger. She liked the cheeseburger deluxe medium well. The two Pepsis. Yeah? I'll take care of oh, well. Devastated by the fact that his young boy couldn't see friends and family on his birthday due to quarantine, his spirits were soon lifted when the local police stepped in to change his day. This father couldn't hold back his tears when hundreds of Sevilla fans gathered outside his house and cheered for his son, who had passed away from a cardiac arrest during a football match. In a touching moment, a considerate construction worker filled a child's toy excavator with dirt. A core memory was most certainly made. This little girl noticed the homeless man's tremor, so she offered a helping hand without hesitation. Returning home from thousands of miles away, Dad had no idea who was right behind him. Wait a minute, who's here? Scooter, Scooter, Scooter! I'm so unexpected. I'm the mayor. Just this morning I got in. Oh my God, I'm so unhappy. I've been a thousand years with a thousand you. So happy to see you. We're going to barbecue in a couple hours. Oh, are we really? It's so glad to have you back here. We miss you so much. It's been a while. It's been very long time. 11-year-old Elijah, battling a brain tumor, always wanted a pet corgi. He even had the name Tucker picked out for it. Well, the folks at Make-A-Wish granted his exact wish. Music teacher Stacy Caldwell at Wilmoth Elementary was impressed by a student's bucket drumming skills. The student, who lost his drum set in a fire, had been self-taught, practicing at school, church, and a guitar center. Inspired, Miss Caldwell arranged a surprise for him, gifting him a new drum set and promising additional drum books and practice pad, moving the student deeply. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you! <laughs> Look.
looking to brighten up the day of your local delivery driver? Leaving treats outside your door could really sprinkle some joy and ease into their demanding workday. Oh my gosh. Wow. Thank you guys so much. As he said across the restaurant, this guy came up with a brilliant plan to ease the tension on this couple's first date. I wanted to like kind of surprise them and pay for the dinner. Yeah. Uh, do you think you could do that for me? Yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, that's it. You're amazing. Thank yeah, you. Thank you so much. And then you guys don't have to worry about the bill. It has already been covered. My arrival trainer, he just wanted to spread kindness to you guys, and he thought you guys would be really cute together. So. Really? Yeah. So you know who was? This heartwarming prank by Big Dawes TV set the standard for how pranks should be. I am Muslim, so I can't give you a hug. But I wish I could. Knuckles? Yeah, he can. Heck yeah. I'm literally returning the school rented laptop as we speak. Are you kidding? Pull that. I don't believe you. Let me see it. Look, I don't want to get it wet, but that's the No, you're laptop. not. I don't have one. No way. That's just straight up meant to be. That's so cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey. How much gas did you want? $20. $20? can't find my money, so I don't know if I can do it. You can't find your money? Thank you anyway. You found it? Yeah. Just, I only wanted $20. You only wanted 20 I filled it up. Okay, but just, I can't pay Guess what? I wanted to pay for your entire gas. Why? This is completely on me. You okay? I don't work here. I just wanted to give back to you. My dad died, so that's why it's I guess he was watching over you today. This woman noticed the freezing homeless dog and brought it a blanket, offering some warmth to a furry friend in need. In a heartwarming gesture, this guy pretended to buy fruit, but surprised vendors in Bali with unexpected gifts. No, it's okay. No, it's for me to you. This may not be your traditional act of kindness, but you've got to love the guy when he's this honest. I bought your wallet, your ID in it, so I brought it all the way out here. You live really, really far though, so I just wanted to see if I want to grab 20 real quick for gas, because gas is high. If you see like a little $7 charge on your car, I had to pay my, my Netflix, but I, I wrote down the, uh, the login. If we all looked after each other like this man does for this pigeon, the world would be a better place. away from family may not be easy, but you never know how much distance there really is between you and them. Bikers stopped in their tracks to help get this old lady safely across the street. Hey guys, do you want a 21 second shopping spree? Sure. Who's taking the basket? Uh, yeah, 21 seconds starts. Now, go, go. Oh, she's <laughs> running. <laughs> grab some stuff, grab some stuff. Go, go, go. You got six seconds left. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Grab, grab. Done. She really hooked you up. Look at this. You got barbecue stuff oh, for days. <laughs> awesome, guys. Let's go ring it up. Let's see what you got. What do you think the total is going to be? Probably like 60. 30 bucks. 30 and you get 60? Yes. If either of you are within $2 of the total, I'm going to double the basket. What? Oh, is that everything? You know what? Is, is this your basket of food? Yeah. yeah. Why don't you throw that in? I'll pay for it also. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Throw it in. Whole today, you have officially been shake paid. Congratulations, both of you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We get I hope to you have a great day. Again. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. This pure hearted little boy wanted to spread the joy of a good old fist bump to everyone on the plane.
This generous man threw a pizza party for a group of homeless people, and it couldn't have gone any better. This poor man thought he'd be spending his birthday alone, but two kind women decided to change that and brought some joy to his day. When this girl finally made it into medical school, she knew exactly who the first person she had to tell was. I have really big news for you. Really? I got into medical school. You what? You're going to medical school? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, God. King's guards are very strict about keeping their composure, but that doesn't mean they cannot weave a smile on somebody's face. Thank you very much. After graduating, young Daniel remembered his mom never had the chance to graduate, so he did this. Even in the midst of a challenging day, an act of unexpected kindness from a stranger could change everything. This little girl fearlessly encourages her blind brother Ashton to try a water slide by describing it and guiding him to the top. These little cyclists would only call it a fair race if everyone made it to the finish line. This player's little gesture to a fan created a ripple effect of kindness. This homeless man's recycling duties finally got rewarded. Do you mind reading that for me? You know, only one decision away from a different life. That's for you? It is. I've been homeless for several years. Okay. And I'm doing recycling for a living. Okay. I go to the trash to make my cash. How much money would it take for you to take the day off? Fifty. Fifty? How about a thousand? All that? A thousand. That's for you? Take it. Yes. Hold on a minute. I got to do the rain dance. There you go. Mmm, mmm. There you go, man. Don't give up, okay? Yes. God bless you. God bless you. We all know dunking in basketball isn't easy, but with the right toss-up partner, it's certainly not impossible. You don't care, right? Despite losing his hearing and vision at the age of nine, Colombian fan Jose Gallego's passion for football remains strong. <laughs> To ensure he could still experience every kick of the ball during a match between Colombia and Poland, his friend Cesar Daza took it upon himself to communicate the excitement of the game to Gallego. Sorry to bother you. I lost my wallet. You have like two dollars to catch the train. Hola, hold on. Thank you so much. What's your name? My name is Patrick. Thank you so much, Patrick. No problem, buddy. Why did you say yes to me? Oh, why not? That's so kind of yes, you, man. Not? Thank you so no much. Problem, buddy. So pause, Patrick. The first person who is gonna say yes to me, I actually do have my wallet on me today. Really? I was gonna bless a stranger, so I'm gonna give this back to oh, you. Oh my god. With a thousand dollars. 
I'm that serious, man. Can I give you a hug by any chance? Come on. Love you, dude. Love you, buddy. Unaware of how many people were actually in need of food, this guy's one act of kindness marked the beginning of a chain reaction. This woman had no idea that the finish line would be the start of a new chapter in her life. A 16-year-old boy in Mexico who had a deep passion for football was taken by an unfortunate incident with the municipal police. In a tribute to honor his legacy and love for the sport, his teammates got together to let him score one last goal. Real heroes let you know if you forgot something important on the roof of your car. This kid couldn't get over his fear of heights, but a kind young man wasn't going to let him regret not taking the leap of faith. Without hesitation, this guy got out of his car and stopped the traffic to lend a helping hand to the frightened deer. A police officer outside Buckingham Palace realized that this guard's hat had fallen off, so he did this. This man was homeless, but that didn't stop him from being generous. Watch how he is rewarded. These bikers risk everything to assist this woman and get her and her three kids back on the road. Hey, my brother. My brother, how are you? I'm good, are you? Yes, I'm so hungry. Can I have some? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, my brother, I was just testing you. Sorry. No, you can have some. Oh, man, it's okay. I was just testing you. <laughs> yeah, what do you want for Christmas? For Christmas? Yeah, anything else. Anything else. My brother. Thank you very much. Here's your Christmas, brother. Thank you very much, my yeah. brother. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is going to help me a lot now. Yeah, so mm. you're going to use that. And yes. Thank you very much, my boss. Take this, brother. Thank you, boss. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome, brother. And may you have a wonderful Christmas with your family. You too, brother. Take this. Thank you very much. Love you, brother. Thank right, you. Be blessed, boss. Alex Roca made history by becoming the first person in the world with a 76% disability to finish a marathon. <laughs> la primera persona del mundo con un 76% de discapacidad física en lograr una maratón. ¡Vamos! Despite being homeless, this man offered a dollar to a stranger ensuring they found their way home. My bus leaves in five minutes. I'm a dollar short. Do you happen to have a dollar? I'm so embarrassed to ask. Do you need a dollar to get home? Yes. Oh, that's great. Are you? Yeah, I feel so bad. You need to go home. Are you sure? Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. I want to give this back to you. I am, but I don't need this. <laughs> the first person who was going to help me get home, I was going to get $500 soon. No. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you too. When this little boy met another woman in a wheelchair, he was eager to see what tricks she could do. Seems like the beginning of a new friendship. There you go. Look at you. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 
Oh, there you go. When the woman noticed this man struggling to light up his birthday candle, she stepped forward to help, infusing genuine kindness into his special moment. This woman placed a restraining order on her ex out of fear and woke up to find her garden in shambles the next day. Her observant neighbors wasted no time coming together to restore every plant and decoration for her. I'll pay for it. Yes, it's okay. I'll pay for it. Yes. Okay. It's Ramadan, so it's from my heart. It's okay, man. When this man crossed paths with George, a homeless man who had served time in jail and was living on the streets, he invited him to join him for dinner. This is George's very first deep dish pizza. Get it in, my dude. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> For the kids of this neighborhood, this wasn't their average day on the court. Hey, who wants some Jordans? All right, what sizes? What sizes can I get? Whoa, 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 hold on, what's going on? Who said 10? Boom! What, what size, what size, 11, 11 and a half? Okay. There you go, there you go. This little girl was about to be reunited with the one person she missed the most. My dad. <laughs> my dad, my hello. Justin, the service dog for Grace Mariani, received a well deserved diploma for his dedicated attendance in all of Grace's classes at Seton Hall. Here's a wholesome moment of two strangers playing knots and crosses on a train. This dog was freezing outside in a thunderstorm until this shop owner gave him a place to stay. Who said billionaires aren't nice people? This old lady was struggling to find her purse, so this guy took his opportunity to be generous. Which of these moments was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below.